It's Russ Boris from WFUV down at South by Southwest 2013. We are at Hotel San Jose. Beautiful morning down here with the Howland brothers. And Ian's with us. How are you, man? Good, man. I'm it's, glad to be here. Yeah, it's good to see you. <laughs> yeah. You guys uh, have a, a great record out called Howl. Uh, worked with Brendan Benson on the album. Yeah. Yeah, how'd you hook up with him? Uh, met Brendan through uh, Corey Chisel. He was working on a record with uh, Corey, and, and uh, he asked us to come in and, and play a bunch of stuff on the that album. And so we, we worked with him for about a month, and then... Uh, we just became really good friends, and he's like, I'm producing your next record. And we thought he was kidding, you know, we're like, no way with Brendan Benson. And sure enough, you know, we were in the studio within a couple of months. And That's kind of funny when somebody says to you, oh, by the way, yeah. here's what's happening in your life. <laughs> right. I'm going to tell you what's happening with your next couple of months right. of and career. I'm okay with that, you yeah. know. <laughs> That's pretty cool. There's something very organic, very real about what you guys do. What kind of um, musical background do you come from, the three of you guys? It's pretty different. Um, we all met in Ithaca College, but we all come from pretty different uh, backgrounds. Jared and Ben both played uh, guitar. They started out with you know just regular guitar and started classical guitar. And and uh, I was a percussionist. That's my background. I went to school for percussion. And I actually met Jared, the, our guitarist, uh, playing steel drums. He was recording my steel drum band. We were doing a session. You had a steel drum band? <laughs> yeah, Penigma. <laughs> it was pretty wild. But it's very interesting. And how did you get to banjo from that? Um, well, my family, my mom's family is all Quebecois, and they play the Canadian-style folk music. And so it, it was kind of always part of my life. And uh, then really the main thing that broke it was Oh Brother. When Oh Brother came out, we were, I was just blown away with it and that whole southern lifestyle and everything about it. And, and then I really kind of fully went that direction. That's around the time I met Jared, and we both delved into the old time and bluegrass scene. Yeah, there's definitely something very Southern, very old time about what you guys do. Yeah. Yeah. So if Old Brother was the opening of the door for you? It sure had a lot to do with it. Yeah. yeah it's such a good movie. The Coen Brothers, one of my favorites ever. Right. You know? Very rootsy, very real. Yeah. And, you know, you get that vibe. Listen to the record. Um, right on. Thank you. It's, so working with Brendan, what, what did he bring to the table? Besides the fact, you know, you know him, you know he was, you know, talented. What is it that, you know, he brought out of you guys? Oh, man, he's just got uh, just such cool perspective. And the, the cool thing about it was, you know, he's more of a pop guy, you know, and it was really cool to have him produce this bluegrassy acoustic album, you know, because... He brought cool elements, like just subtle things like hand claps, you know, like things right. that like wouldn't necessarily like be a bluegrass thing, you know. And, um, and he's just an awesome, like he keeps the flow going real well. Like as a producer, he's just top notch. It's know? a really cool match because like you said, he comes from more of a, you know, he, he writes such great harmonies. He's such a guy with melody and yeah. he has a way about lyrics and, and from a pop standpoint, yep. um, you know, and, and to see that translate to what you guys do is, is a really cool dynamic, I think. Yeah, it was really cool working with him. We're, you know, blessed. It was a huge opportunity. Well, obviously we're down here South by Southwest, tons of live music, nothing but it all, all the time. Uh, when you look back, um, what was the first concert that you had seen? When you were a kid or a teenager or anything, what was what was number one for you? Man, that's a really good question. I don't, um, shoot, I don't even know. One of the six I was Buddy Guy. My mom took me to see Buddy Guy at the like state the state fair. Went up and saw him, and, and he killed it. He walked up into the crowd, was like walking around on people's laps. Playing. There's something about the Buddy Guy. The fr I know what you're talking about because the first time I had seen Buddy Guy, it was this element where you watch this guy who was well into his 60s, yeah, and he had the crowd in the palm of his hand. He was like Hendrix out there, yeah, and there were women in the front row were doing like strip teases towards this guy. It was just yeah. crazy. Yeah, he yeah, owns that's a performer. It. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> very cool. Well, Ian, thanks very much for coming. Thank you. Howlin' Brothers. It's Russ Boris for WFUV down South by Southwest 2013.